Hello friends, uh, today we'll be sharing one of the thoughts that we have on investments. So when you talk about investments, let's look at various kind of companies, companies which are largely in the services space. And these companies, they are the ones which you can invest and use them to serve you to make your portfolio. So there are various avenues in which you can invest in. I'll share the thoughts basically which get into investments. So when we try to find companies, let's look at few basic points which get into those companies. So when you are investing into any company, it's about partnering with those companies. So first thing that you will try to look at is the what is the kind of partner that you are going to invest into. So if the promoters and the management of the company is ethical, they are sound, they are following basic corporate governance. That's one of the first key feature point that you will be looking at. The second point is obviously the process which they are following. So if you get into a company where there is no tangible input or output or it is driven by services, you cannot quantify the value of that service. And so the customers are willing to pay huge amount of money. So if there are companies which are driven by process and not by individuals, those are the pockets to really go about investing. Once the process is established, then what is the kind of product and what is the acceptance of that product with the people? So we'll be talking about various different types of companies, companies which have edge on those kind of services that they provide. And then this entire concept will be clear as to where you should go about investing. Uh, also, the kind of number of customers which are there who are willingly paying to the companies is the key mantra when you get into those services space. So I'll just give some illustration that in today's environment, we clearly know that entertainment is one where people willingly go and spend huge amount of money. So couple of companies which come there include names like Wanderilla and Edlabs. So Wanderilla is one such company which has got various amusement parks across the country. It is spread over lakhs of customers and customers go and pay willingly to these companies. Again, an entertainment park is not driven by people. That is, it is not driven by one individual promoter or one individual person. So once the front end capex is done, then people just walk into those places and spend money and the cash flow of the company is actually going to decide the outcome of the share price. So we think these companies like Wanderilla and Adlabs which fall in the entertainment pocket are really the ones to really go about uh, investing for long term point of view. The second pocket which we think is extremely critical and important will include names like healthcare. So healthcare is one where again you have those pathology laboratories and companies like Dr. Lal or you have companies like Thyrocare where people walk in, they pay whatever is being charged to them and again these companies are driven by process and it's spread over lakhs of customers. So the customers do not have huge amount of bargaining power and the cash flow of these companies are significant. Again capex is front-ended and cash flows take care of the price appreciation in future for sure. Third such pocket which we think is extremely important is the gas distribution companies. Now these companies like IGL and MGL that is Indrapras Gas or Mahanagar Gas they actually have monopolies in their pockets. So there is very very strong entry barrier. No company can easily come and set up these businesses and these companies are growing by every passing day. Now gas is a fuel which is green in nature which is cheaper in terms of prices and in India if there are products which are cheap and better are consumed by and large by large number of customers. Again it is a service industry, again it is a specialized service, again there are strong entry barriers, again there are lacks of customers. So all those are recipes or ingredients whereby large companies are built over a period of time. Last pocket which we'll talk about is the pocket of insurance. Again in insurance you have uh, customers spread over the entire geography of the countries. Again lakhs of and millions of customers. There you have few companies like Bajaj Fencer or a Aditya Birla Nuo or a Max Life Now and you also have ICICI Pro which is listed. So these are the pockets of opportunities. The key thing to understand or the biggest takeaway is just look at the promoters of the company. Just look at where you are partnering whether that business is service driven, it is process driven and as I mentioned in services, you cannot quantify the value of that service. What it means is that if there is a product, there is question of what is the input and the value of that input. But in service, you cannot quantify the value of the input. So the charges that they can take from people 
can be relatively inelastic so point is that customers are widespread customers are there they are willingly paying and it is more of a cultural shift so all the illustrations which we mentioned are more of a cultural change which is happening in the country whether in terms of entertainment whether in terms of gas distribution whether in terms of insurance or whether in terms of taking preventive healthcare measures all of these are structural all of these are going to be great businesses all of these are specialized services and so these are few investment ideas which can be looked at investments from a long term point of view and then you can make your portfolio accordingly so this is what i wanted to share with you services which actually serve you you can invest into them and make a profitable portfolio thank you very much for the hearing